At 1.07 a.m., the Odyssey satellite received images of an unfamiliar object moving past Mars. It stopped 250 miles above the Earth and is now orbiting our planet. We called them the Others. kind of crazy i don't think it's properly like sunk in yet i think i can't wait to to see how people react to the movie um but yeah for me being from being from the uk being from london and like being my first ever first class flight to go and test out with chloe moretz in new york was a crazy crazy experience and it's kind of just spiraled on from there the weirdest thing is like when you're on set and it just becomes normal it becomes like the job that you're doing that's the strangest thing sometimes you just have to pinch yourself His name's Evan Walker. He's, uh, he's just a regular guy, grew up on a farm, kind of manual labor. Um, and yeah, he's, he's lost his, his family. He's lost everything that he knows, much like Cassie's character. We're kind of both of our journeys are very similar. Um, and he's a real survivor. He's surviving in the, in the woods on his own um, uh, in this secluded house. Um, and he ends up bringing Cassie back to it in order to, to, to rescue her. She's such a, she just, she's, what she's done so amazingly is kind of have this character who's a regular teenage girl and have her like, be, like find this power, find this strength within her. She's not, she's not got special ability. She's not like a, a some kind of a, a chosen one or a superhero and she's just managed to, she manages to, to show the progression of this girl finding the strength inside her to save her brother. So it was amazing to watch her do that, and she's, yeah, she's a fantastic actress. It was a funny because there's a scene in the book where you see uh, Evan Walker's like bum cheeks, and I think, uh, and I think they just they couldn't do that, so they kind of replaced it with this lake scene. But um, I think just in doing all the fight training and all that kind of stuff, you kind of get in pretty good shape, and it was really really cold also, so I think all your muscles like tense up. But yeah, it's a, it's a funny scene to watch. It's very, like, yeah, gratuitous. Uh, no. Uh, I don't know if, if, if that, if I get global heartfelt status, that would be interesting. But um, yeah, I just want people to enjoy the movie. There's so there's so much action, and what's great about, what's great about it is it has those like the things we're talking about as far as the like the um, the the emotional kind of stuff uh, of the of the movie. It's kind of counterbalanced by all of this action, and both both of those two things working together is amazing. Um, but yeah, I had to do I had to do a lot of training, and there were some interesting stories that came out of it. It's a tough one because there's so little trust in this in this world that they live in. It's not really anything that they can properly give into. So, but they're two people and they're they're a guy and a girl and they're in this extreme situation and I think they try and fight any 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 feelings that they would have. I think it feels original. I think it feels really um, it feels authentic too and like kind of true to today. And I think it's because. Like there's a, there's, it's set in our time. It's not set in some dystopian future that you can't relate to. It's like as if a, these alien invasions happened today, you know, and the, all the waves are, are things that we can relate to. The first four waves, the first three specifically, as far as the tsunamis and like there's the, 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 the threat of a, a bird flu or some kind of a like Ebola virus being transmitted through like through, through birds is a really, really scary prospect. Like the idea of something that can kill off 90% of, hu of humans, or 97, I think it is. So they're all kind of real fears, and I think people are w that watch it, I think, can, can really experience that fear for real. Well, I've watched a fair bit of Bear Grylls, so I think that I'd be able to survive quite well. But um, I might just... When it came down to it, maybe I'd crumble, but I'd like to think that um, sitting on my couch, I've digested enough knowledge of Bear Grylls' survival skills to do all right. This is our home. They will not possess it.